prepping a central Georgia property for deer hunting. William Hovey Smith, 2017. I'm the author of Backyard Deer Hunting, and here we're getting ready for another season. This is Hovey Smith, the Backyard Sportsman. And me and Longmore are at my friend's hunting ground again, getting it ready for the hunting season. It's already archery hunting here in Georgia, and I've actually been out twice, but I need to cut these roads so I can get my equipment, this lawnmower, in and out to haul my deer, should I be fortunate enough to get one. So we're going to cut road uh, back to where I put my deer stand. I've already cut a very large tree out of it. And now we're going to get this grass cut down. Uh, the grass and weeds are between a foot and five foot high. So yeah, the little lawnmower has some challenges. This is a large pine that I cut and moved with my chainsaw and truck winch. Now we've already met one near disaster, the moor deck wouldn't work. Well, as it turned out, it was jammed up with cut material that was dried around the blades and the pulleys. So we've jacked it up, we've put it on blocks, and we've solved that problem by pulling out the excess material from around the blades, as well as the working mechanism on top. So now we're ready to go, and the first thing we're going to do is clear out our camping area here. We have completed our mowing for now, and I'm on a food plot that hadn't been planted in a couple of years. You can see how it's growing up. Now that pompous grass was purposefully planted there to use as a blind. And of course there's my Ford Ranger. Zeus barge has shrunk. It developed a hole in the bottom and I was unable to get a replacement of the same size, even though I asked at the same store. So that is a new size, and so we're having to make do. It's not as big as the old one, and I can only get the stand in it if I turn it sideways. And of course, we have our tractor. So we're going to go down through the woods and make a cutting pass and then set the stand in front of three stripes on the wood line. Here is my junior size Zeus barge as it's being carried. And this is one of the roads I'm opening up. As you can see, it's coming back pretty well timbered in here with second growth. And this is a path where I have cut one run through. You can see all the little saplings growing up. Well, I have to get these every year. Otherwise, if they grow two or three years, I'll not be able to cut them with this lawnmower. You can see how thick the other material is to the side. And then there's my trail again going in another direction. Well, Zeus Barge Jr. has done his job. And I have selected my tree. It's this nice pine you see right here. It's a good straight tree. You can get as high up as you like. And from here, I can see actually three roads. Now there is another stand here. But this one is not safe. Uh, it's lost its retaining straps. As has another one down the way. So I'm putting up a climbing stand instead of attempting to use it. Well, we're up in the tree stand. And that's the old stand that's uh, not safe to climb. And we're looking down at the junction of four roads. And there's a line of scrapes along those roads. There's a lot of small saplings between me and my shooting area, so my field of fire is somewhat chancy. 
I do have a chance on the other side of the tree at another road that you can dimly see through those sweet gums. So not much of a chance that so not much of a chance that side. Go need to clear this area some. Well, we have hunted, but there's no game in the zoo sparge. Uh, we did manage to cut trail today. We did get a stand out in a good place. And we now have roads that we can walk down. And also retrieve our game on. So we have accomplished a lot of good today, even though we did not shoot anything. We had a light sprinkle when I left the house. That's about, oh, 15 miles away from here. But when I got here at my friend's farm, uh, no, not a drop of water has fallen. What I'm going to do is walk back to where I placed the deer stand and sort of silently hunt along the way uh, and see if we can spot anything, stay there until the early afternoon. Those deer are supposed to be moving through the day today. It's a full moon. And see if we spot anything and then come back and resume my work with the lawnmower uh, to cut some more trails through here. This is what a lot of the road looks like before I cut it. The light rain that I started off with at home this morning has caught up with me and it's starting here now. So loaded up, I think I'm going to call it a day. It's six o'clock. So we put in a good day's work. Besides backyard deer hunting, I have other prize winning books. These include extreme muzzle loading, crossbow hunting, and practical bow fishing. I also have a series of e-books on muzzleloaders. These include muzzleloaders for hunters, hunting with muzzleloading shotguns and smoothbore muskets, and hunting big and small game with muzzleloading pistols. Now Hurricane Irma delayed a lot of our work here in central Georgia in getting our hunting properties ready. I use a lawnmower instead of a tractor because I just don't want to fiddle with more equipment than I actually need. For more information on my books, blogs, and more than 650 videos, go to my website, www.hoviesmith.com. Good hunting and good eating from the outdoors. Goodbye, and God bless.